And I know right now you have a little love affair with Jerry Jones. Mm. I am Let's talk about that. That's my yeah. That's my Smoke butt. a cigar let's look on a helicopter. Let's look at the, like, he's in the Hall of Fame for some ungodly reason. You know, let's look at the track record. Mm -hmm. Since 1995, right. that's 27 years mm -hmm. in Dallas, mm -hmm. he's won two playoff games. Well, can I respond to that? They, threw, they had helicopters over Giant mm -hmm. Stadium mm -hmm. in the 70s right. with Wellington Mara right. with that nonsense. Right. Right. He's won two playoff mm -hmm. games in 27 years. Mm -hmm. How about him getting the job done as an well, owner? Well, let me say this to you. Well, his team's worth $8 billion. Well, well, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. That, that's not wins and losses. Tell me. I'm just telling you. May I retort? <laughs> you have a point. I'm not going to deny that, that you have he a point. Write that down. He said you have a point. Right. Write that down. I have that made sure okay. to point yeah. that out on various occasions in the past. Yes. But when you hire Bill Parcells, I'm going to pay attention to that. When you build a roster that people look at and they say, this is championship contender talent on this squad, and you have a coach who's won a Super Bowl in the mix there, I'm not going to ignore that either. I, I will remind you, Who's, the, who's my favorite owner of all time? It was George Steinbrenner. That's my favorite. Because this man sat up there and, get, and spent the money and gave you the talent. You used to be on radio in New York, sitting there with Mike and Amanda. Mike and Amanda, that was it. And you used to lament the fact that we're buying championships. And I used oh, to hate it. it. And I was too young to call, call it and tell you, I don't care. Who <laughs> do I care? I don't give a damn what you buy, okay? The point is, Jerry Jones... You cannot look at the roster of the Dallas Cowboys over the last several years and say that as the owner, the president, and the GM, that he didn't accumulate the talent mm -hmm. and put right. you as a coach and players in a position to succeed. That's why you don't hear me holding them accountable. Because I don't look at scrubs on a Cowboys roster. I look at a team that continuously says we're championship caliber. At that point, you step back and let the coach be the coach and the players be the players. What have y'all done? You haven't fulfilled what right. he's delivered on. Period. What did Jerry Jones give him on that helicopter ride? Stephen A. Smith has gone soft on the guy. Now I get it. He got the talent. He got the coach. And they were championship ready season after season. But still, like Mad Dog said, 27 years, two playoff games. It has to be the right combination of coach and talent. And Jerry Jones is the owner, the GM. He has so much responsibility for that team. He has to have some accountability for their failures. I mean, he sets the whole culture of the team. He is the guy that everybody answers to. How in the world do you win two playoff games in 27 years and Jerry Jones is completely scot-free, blame-free in all of that? It's not always the coach's fault. It's not always the player's fault. Most of the time it is. But who's the one putting these pieces together? Who's the mastermind behind the whole operation? If we're going to give him credit for his team being worth $8 billion, then we have to hold him accountable if his team fails year after year after year. I get that it must have been a fun helicopter ride. And hey, Jerry Jones, on the off chance that you see this video, if you want to take me on a helicopter ride and a tour of the stadium, I might change my mind too. But Stephen A. Smith has gone completely soft on Jerry Jones. He used to call him out and the entire Cowboys team, but now he's leaving out the one guy that takes him on helicopter rides and he's buddies with and they're best friends now. But like always, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Has Stephen A. Smith gone soft on Cowboys owner Jerry Jones or is he right? And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.